to Martin. I, well, I ain't any kind of a screenwriter, as you know, but I've been kind of trying to come up with some sort of solution to your Viet Cong psychopath conundrum and calm down and I think I may have found one. So there's this Vietnamese guy, and he's in this hotel room in Phoenix, and he's sweating, sweating like hell. He's burning up. He takes out from his pocket a 44. He checks. It's loaded. I don't know why he checks it's loaded. Surely he's the one who loaded it. Anyway, a hooker comes out of the bathroom in a beautiful red dress. She says, would you like to make love? Or should we have an intelligent conversation instead? I've been reading a lot of Noam Chomsky lately. I think he's a marvel. The Vietnamese guy, <laughs> he doesn't know what she's talking about. He's Vietnamese, so anyway. You said you wanted some sex in it, so I guess they're having sex. See with you. I'm here to talk to you. He sniffs the air. He says the single word. Con mu sang. The hooker. She studied Vietnamese at Yale. Ki vai? I am cum tai vai sang. Rồi sẽ thấy. He drags her to the place where the convention's being held. She's got the dynamite tied to her. He's got the gasoline he's just bought. She backs away, petrified. He pours the gas out onto the floor. It reaches her feet. A little of it has splashed over himself. It doesn't matter. He takes out a match. In perfect Vietnamese, the hooker whispers, he shuts his eyes. Then he opens them again. He ain't in Phoenix anymore. He's sitting in the middle of a street in Saigon circa 1963 in the orange robes of his Buddhist daughter. And he's drenched himself in gasoline. And as he finally manages to push the thoughts of anger and hate out of his gentle mind, a fellow monk pleads with him one final time. <laughs> and all angry thoughts finally dispelled. The first monk ever to burn himself to death to protest the war, whispers, it might. Dirk Ma. Might. He must the match. So, you know, your Viet Cong psycho story becomes the final thoughts of a man who chose not the darkness, but the light. The light being, you know, Suicide by self-immolation. But I think that's the best we're going to get. And, you know, <clears throat> I know you said dream sequences are for fags, but I think it could work, don't you? We all kind of dream, don't we? Not just fags. Oh, by the way, I don't think they like being called fags anymore. I think nowadays they prefer homos. <laughs> <laughs>